We can use variables in Boolean algebra, and x, y, and z are common ones that are used, a, b, c are common, uh, and we can also use a combination of um, variables and literals, so having an x and a zero in the same expression is allowed. Let's go ahead and do some of this math. So consider that we have three variables, x, y, and z, and x is 1 and y is 0 and z is 1. How can we evaluate this Boolean expression? Well, the way that we do it is we simply substitute, right? We just do 1 and now the multiplication, that dot operator is actually a special character. So if I go again, go to math, then I can find that dot operator. All right, there it is on this app. So I have one times and y is a zero. So I do that. The plus is easy to find on the keyboard. That's great. And then we have a one um, op dot operator and I'll just copy it. And one times one. So there, all we've done is substitute the values for each variable into the, op into the expression. And now we can solve the expression. So we'll do the operations in order. So multiplication comes first. We have two of those. We'll do left to right. So one times zero is zero. And then, so, and then we do the next one, which is one times one, and that's a one. Now we have an addition operation, so 0 plus 1 is 1, and there we've um, solved that expression by using those substitutions. Let's do another one, and this one involves complements. So when we, do the, when we do it here, we're going to be working x is 1, well, we'll keep our parentheses, so we have 1, but it's a complement, and that is hard, so I'm going to just use the single quote for the complement. So we have the complement of 1 plus y, and y is a 0, and put that in parentheses. And then we have in parentheses, now this is the complement of x times y. And so we're going to have to use uh, a parentheses for this. So we can use the double parentheses like this, which would be x, y, and then use that single quote to recognize the complement. Uh, and in this particular case, those double parentheses aren't necessary because they encase the entire thing. So I can just simply do the single set of variables, the single set of parentheses keeps that multiplication alive and applies the complement in the right order. So now, instead of using x and y, let's go ahead and do the substitutions here too, which is just one times uh, y, which is zero. Okay, now we have two sets of parentheses. They go first, and let's go ahead and start with the one on the left. And inside there, there's a complement. It's what the complement of one, which is a zero. So we'll do that complement, right? That's done inside there, and then we'll just carry the rest of it. And then next, we'll again keep working inside this parentheses, and we have zero plus zero, which results in zero. And then we multiply that by uh, what's in these parentheses. And first we do what's inside the parentheses, which is one times zero, which is zero. And then we do the complement. And so now we have individual values, right? And so we can just do the complement of zero. So we have, and we can drop the parentheses since they're individual ones. So what we really have is um, zero times, and now the complement of zero, which is one. And we do zero times one, and we get zero. And that's the result, and that's the result of that expression when x is one, y is zero, and z is one. Let's do one more. Go ahead and do this one with me, and this will give you a chance to figure out how to write up these expressions yourself. Now you can do this on some sort of app on your computer, or you can do it on pencil with pencil and paper and then just take a picture of it and submit it. So either way that you're more comfortable with works. This one also uses the complement, but notice that uh, it's kind of like a nested complement. 
And so let's see what that will look like when we're using single quotes. So we've got uh, that complement that goes over the entire expression. So we're going to put that around the whole thing. And we can do this with y, um, y, x, and z's if we want. And so inside, so we're going to put the whole thing inside this complement and it'll have that as a complement. So right there. And then inside this, we're going to have y and the complement of y. And that's going to be multiplied by x plus y. And so that's what that looks like. Oops, one more parenthesis. Okay, so that's how those complements are written if when you're using the quote instead of the bar. Okay, you have to use the you have to use parentheses to identify a bar that goes over more than one term. All right. So before we can evaluate this complement, we have to do what's inside it, right? Everything under the complement. So we need to do this part first. Oh, before we do that, let's go ahead and do the substitutions with the zeros and ones. All right, so y is a zero. So let's put a zero there. Um, x is a one. So we'll do a one there. Uh, y, put a zero there. Okay, now what do we, what's the next? Now we've got the substitutions done. We need to do inside, underneath this complement first. And so now once we get in here, we do parentheses first, right? So there's one plus zero. So we're gonna have the complement of zero. And so we'll multiply one plus zero is one. And then we still have that complement on the outside. Okay, next we'll do the complement of zero, which is one. And we have one, oops, one times one. And we want so now we do one times one and we get one and then we have the complement. So what is the complement of one? It is zero.